Hi, I'm Oliver, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very first crypto invoice using Basenode.io. In this example, we are already logged in to Basenode and we already have connected some wallets. If you don't know how to connect your wallet to Basenode or how to log in, you can watch this other video where I explain exactly that. Now let's get started. As you can see, we have already some tokens here in this wallet and our overview screen. And from the overview screen, we can click on the top right there's a little plus icon here, and if we click on Create Invoice in the drop-down menu, we will be redirected to this page. First of all, we have to give our invoice a name. Let's call it Test Invoice. I think that's a very nice name. And now we have to select who we want to bill, so who we want to bill to. And um, usually you go to the contact screen here beforehand, and you can create your contacts um, that you maybe are your clients that you want to send the invoices to. In this case, I already, correct, uh, I already created a contact, which is, of course, Satoshi Nakamoto. I can also create a new contract here um, on the fly if I haven't um, already uh, created one. So now let's select Satoshi as a recipient of our invoice. Um, now, from the uh, on the other side here, we select our own information. So this is my own information here. Um, my own billing information and make sure to select um, a country here and everything that is marked with a little star. Let me show you this little asterisk here in the end. Um, these are the informations that are necessary to put in. So make sure to fill them out. Next is the invoice currency. The invoice currency is not the currency that you will receive from the, from the payment. It is the currency that you denominate your invoice in. So in our case, I'm located in Germany here, so I select Euros. And uh, next step is to select the wallet that I want to receive the tokens in. In my case, that will be the Ethereum wallet that I connected. And here I can select if I want to receive um, yeah, Ether or any other to uh, token that we support. Of course, we have um, most popular stable coins here, um, but we also have the top 1000 ERC20 tokens. So feel free to select any any token that you like to get paid in. In this case, we select US dollar tether on Ethereum. Now let's talk about this difference between the invoice currency and the currency that you receive your funds in. With Basenode, we denominate the invoice in the invoice currency. So let's say you want to receive 500 euros, but you want to receive them in US dollar tether, then this is the selection you should make. And we will always collect the real time price information when it comes to denominating the invoice. I will show you that in just a minute. So here I can enter what I did, maybe uh, some services for my client. Then here you can see uh, the quantity that we enter. So let's say I worked 10 hours at a total price of 10 euros. Um, you can give a discount if you want, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. And of course we have maybe a tax rate of let's say 20%. This leads us to a total amount of 120 euros. And as you can see, we take the real time price and convert it to US dollar tether, which is your invoicing currency um, that you will then receive. Now, the next thing to do is to select if it's a recurring invoice. You can also add a little message to your customer, but it's optional. And then we create the date the invoice what, uh, was issued, which is today, the 8th of August 22. And let's say the due date is in two weeks on the 22nd of August. Now I will click on send and this will actually send the invoice to the email address of your recipient and you will also get a copy as a PDF for your own files. So let's click and see what happens next. So this invoice is now being downloaded as you can see. It's here in test invoice. I will open it and this is what my client will see when um, he or she opens this PDF. In this invoice, you can actually click on this payment link here and you're redirected to the payment page. Your client does not need a base note account for this. You can just um, go to this landing page by the payment link. And then when you click on pay invoice, your client can just pay the exact amount to the real time price that we fetched. Um, either just copy this address and pay with your own wallet or you launch MetaMask and can pay directly with one click. And um, yeah, this is how invoicing with base note works. Of course, this uh, invoice will be tracked by our software. And as soon as the payment is done, you will get a notification via email from us. I hope this was help you, uh, helpful for you and uh, see you in the next one.